In book three, chapter three of 1984, O'Brien tells Winston that he collaborated in writing the book. Winston says what he thinks O'Brien wants to hear. The party is ruling the people for their own good. O'Brien dials up the pain. Wrong! O'Brien goes on to explain, we are interested solely in power. The party slogan is freedom is slavery. And it's reversible. Slavery is freedom. O'Brien continues to explain the party doctrine. O'Brien wants to make Winston a parrot of the party, saying everything that they need to hear. And he wants the party to have total power over everyone. Nonetheless, Winston continues to hold tight to ideas he knows to be true. Gravity exists. The Earth has existed for millions of years. The stars are millions of light years away. The party will one day fail. Winston sees his thin, weak body in the mirror. His heart has not betrayed Julia. He has not stopped loving her, and O'Brien knows it. Now, in this chapter, O'Brien's confessing of his collaboration in writing Goldstein's book is likely to weaken Winston's faith in the existence of the Brotherhood. He follows it up by saying that it's nonsense to believe the party can ever be overthrown. The reverence Winston felt for O'Brien is still evident. When Winston believed O'Brien was a kindred spirit, he felt connected to him. Letting go of that connection further isolates Winston. It may, in fact, seem more appealing to Winston to change his view and agree with O'Brien than to be cast out into total isolation. O'Brien tells Winston that power is not a means, it is an end. But he goes on to say that this power cannot be experienced if one is alone. It has to be collective, and that's why the party's slogan can be reversed to say slavery is freedom. A person must merge into the mind of the party. When you are alone, you can be defeated. But if you are free of aloneness, you are free, not to be defeated.